Hey guys, it's Ahmed, and today I want to talk to you guys about a stock that I have been talking about in previous videos, or I spoke about at least in a previous video, and that is Laser or Luminar that recently went public via SPAC merger. So, as I mentioned in my previous video, you know, I thought the again, this was right as the an announcement was made that it is going public via SPAC merger, and I told you guys I think it is definitely overvalued. So, as we could see, you know, it was it was trending. I think right the day before its merger on Wednesday, it was at around eighteen dollars a share, and it just skyrocketed all the way up to about forty one eighty a share. So as you can see, that's pretty ridiculous, especially from its initial SPAC price, a three hundred and nine percent increase. You know, again for me that was kind of a no brainer, and I told everyone I was like, definitely too high, definitely don't consider this quite yet. Again, so with that being said. You know, looking at it right now, it's been going down, just as we anticipated. So from its all-time high at 46.69, excuse me, I guess, um, it is down almost 40%. So it's about at 28.12, which, you know, again, in my opinion, I still think that is too expensive. I'm not a financial advisor by any means, but again, just logically speaking, comparing it to its um, competitors, I was looking at um, Velodyne, which is another LiDAR company this has been a well-established one for a little longer than you know luminar has and so again this started way back in like you know a few months ago so they have a head start on them but it seems like overall the lidar market is kind of pulling back because again elon musk came out and said you know i'm against lidar and a lot of people follow musk because you know tesla right and there's a lot of hype around tesla which again i'm a huge fan but when it comes to LiDAR, I still think there's a really important place for LiDAR when it comes to autonomous vehicles and the future in that sense. So just looking again at Laser, uh, the price is down substantially. So I think, you know, now if we want to start potential to potentially start nibbling in this stock, not a bad idea. A lot of analysts are shoot are looking at $20 price ranges or lower. So again, for me, that's kind of what I'm eyeing and I'm keeping on my watch list to see if it ever gets that low. Now, if you want to, if you are excited about LiDAR and excited about this company, not a bad idea to maybe start taking a position in this from its all time high. Again, it's down 40 percent. Oh, let's get that going. So again, relative to that, can it go back to that price? Absolutely. You know, again, if the hype is still around it, I can see it go right back to the $40, 45, 40, uh, 46 dollar range. But what I'm expecting, though, is a little bit more of a uh, pullback when market opens on Monday and continuously to do so closer to what the analysts are putting it as. But again, even uh, John Kramer, for example, he said, again, potentially pick up a position in this, but look for things under the $20 mark. He said even under 15. So I think at that point, maybe we're getting a little too greedy, just comparing it to Velodyne. You know, again, it's around 1832. So maybe potentially, if you're really interested in LiDAR as a whole, really consider maybe just taking a position in uh, Laser or Luminar uh, ticker symbol LAZR or Velodyne ticker symbol VLDR or both to play it safe because again there are competitors but depending on who picks up what contracts we know that Luminar has a contract with Volvo which is a pretty big deal of course but we don't know what that where that's gonna put everyone else and last but not least you know I'll talk about CZ, uh, CCGRO Collective Growth Corp which is also a spec that is merging to help Innoviz another LiDAR company go public so from their all-time high from the last five days, they're down, so it was up to 1620. They're down about 20%. Again, with this LiDAR pullback, it seems like, or overall market pullback the last week or so. So again, is this a pretty big opportunity at $13? I think so. I definitely will be picking up a position in C, uh, CCG, or CGRO, excuse me. So again, for you all, just let me know in the comment section below if you're you know, bullish on LiDAR as a entity, because I truly do think that LiDAR has a place in our future, especially when it comes to autonomous driving. Again, just looking at different articles, it seems like it's kind of a no-brainer relative to radar. You know, again, when we look at airplanes, they use radar technology to kind of detect other planes from a, from a distance. But when it comes to LiDAR, this helps us kind of get a better 3D image or 3D mapping um, at a closer distance. And it's a lot more detailed. So we could see fine things like humans and not just huge objects. And the other thing it can pick up is even smaller things like animals 
And so for autonomous vehicles, we have to think, you know, to what extent or what detail will we need to see bef before we're comfortable allowing cars to operate without a driver? And I think LiDAR is really the solution for that. So again, for me, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Look at all three of these companies. So Luminar, Innovis that is going public, which is still not public. And again, with SPACs at $13, I think that's a buy. It might pull back a little more, but I'm expecting around the $13 mark is probably where it's going to be consolidating before the merger date is announced. And so until then, I say pick up some, pick up some shares. Velodyne, if you're, again, you're bullish on LiDAR as a whole, pick up some of Laser, some of, um, or excuse me, Luminar, Velodyne, and uh, CCGRO, or CGRO, which is again going to be um, Innovis. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about LiDAR as a whole. Um, let me know if you're already invested in any of these stocks and where your entry points were because I'm always interested in having that kind of dialogue down below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.